Okay, it is Monday morning. Long weekend here, about seven o'clock in the morning. Just out for a hike with the dog before it gets too warm. Give you an opportunity to learn or, or hear what's latest goings on on the channel. Still drinking some coffee. Hiking app for the iPhone. Uh, if you're in Nova Scotia, you probably have it. It does very well. I'm in talks right now with a couple groups to, well, enhance it a lot. So if you have the uh, the app on your phone, you know, hopefully there'll be a, a juicy update in the next couple months. So with that, that turns into the ebook, which has been out. If you go into iTunes or iBooks, type in hiking, and it's usually the first couple of, of titles there. So it's going well. Things are going to kind of... I guess simmer down as we get into the cooler months, so that give me a good chance to do some updates. So we got about mm, maybe another 20, 24 books or not books trails. I like to uh, update. So if you have the book downloaded for iTunes, you'll be able to get the updates for free. Even so in uh, terms the of the YouTube content, finally, um, <laughs> we got some Garmin Vivo Active and Iridium Go videos uh, in the queue. I do have an Iridium video that's. In editing right now just need to do the voiceover track so maybe I can get that up uh, this week but there's definitely going to be a few short Garmin Vivo Active tutorials coming up there cuz that's starting to gain some steam and looking at the website traffic um, things are going very well a lot of people are looking for Garmin stuff this is the time of year with running and stuff so we'll uh, try to get some additional content on the Apple watch quite honestly has cooled down a little bit I tried a number of different video topics to see how that worked out um, you know give or take hopefully with the new version coming out this fall where things kind of opens up on the watch it might be a little bit more interesting right now it's a nice daily activity watch the the tracker uh, the fitness side of things is pretty good but in terms of using the app and getting the data that the app or the watch generates like heart rate and all that you can't do nothing really with it you're kind of locked in so that is the one negative thing about it but otherwise it's 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 a nice to have it's a nice gadget so other than that friday night hangout we're on our summer schedule every couple weeks we'll push one out uh we did uh, the special ladies uh hangout uh, a couple weeks ago so check that out the podcast will be out i'm terribly behind in my podcast scheduling uh, the editing just takes it takes a while to edit uh, these things down but uh, if you're subscribed do expect a new episode uh, uploaded uh, this week also mm. i mean things are kind of low-key right now if you've been following for the last uh, few months uh, the missus is going through her chemotherapy right now uh, we've got five weeks to go and we should be done the hardest part of the journey so that's kind of the reason why things are kind of on the quiet front and things are just taking a little longer to get done but otherwise things are going well she's doing all right some days are tougher than others but we've been getting a lot of support from everybody on that uh, i'll put a link in the description here she is also uh, doing a little bit of fundraising for uh, run for the cure uh, so you can go check that out the link she's pretty much almost out of her fundraising goals but if you want to to help out uh, click on the link check things out or use this as an excuse to do the couch to 5k uh running wise you know things are getting kind of nice out nice cool morning like this go out for a little trot or a walk or a hike talk to you guys later